Hey guys, Wesley from Gray Shave Reviews here, and today I'm going to show you the Parker Safety Razor 100% Best Badger Bristle, bristle <laughs> Shaving Brush. Um, this is one of my favorite brushes. It was the first one that I bought that was not in a you know a cheap kit or something like that. Um, right now, the black handle um, goes for about 40 bucks on Amazon, but they it is currently unavailable. I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. But they do have a brown handle, or like a wooden handle, I guess you could say, and a white handle listed. The uh, brown handle is $60, and the white version of this is $38. So if you like bull shaving, I think this is a great brush to use. The knot on it is very large, at about a, I think it's a 24 millimeter knot, and compared to some of the other brushes, this is just a, a cheap brush here, but you can see how much wider the Parker is. And it's perfect for bowl brushes or bowl lathers. Um, I've even used it on my face, but it's not one of the better brushes to use on your face. In my personal opinion, I like having a much tighter uh, bristles for my face and not you know so soft and everything. But um, overall, it's a great brush. Um, and here I'll do a, I'll do a bowl lather real quick, and so you can see it. Okay, so I've had my I've had the Parker brush soaking for a while. Uh, nice hot water. Uh, I believe the temperature for our water is about 110 at the hottest, maybe 120. And the lather I'm going to show you is with the How to Grow a Mustache or Synergy uh, Coconut Bay Shaving Soap. It's one of my favorite. Uh, shaving soaps when it comes to slickness, the dense lather, um, the smell especially. It's really good. Haven't had any issues with any of their products, um, which I will be doing a review on this later, but I figured it'd be a perfect time to show the lather off. But knock out some of the water on the brush. Some people wet the puck. Uh, with the Synergy, I do not. With Arco and a couple others, I do find myself wetting the puck a little bit, but you know, not a whole lot. So here we'll start the lather. You can see that the brush itself almost takes up the whole five inch puck, which I really enjoy because you can really get the, you can really load it down into the brush itself if you can see there. I don't know if you can see that, but this brush lathers very quickly. And it holds on to the water well and it holds on to the soap very well. So here I think we have enough there. It smells really good. So um, knock out the water and then knock out all the pooling water where there's a little bit of water in the bowl. And then we'll start the bowl lather. A lot of people have their own techniques. So don't judge me on mine. <laughs> it works. The reason that I do bowl lathers is because I have a very sensitive face, uh, skin, I guess, and um, if I take the bristles, if I try and do a face lather and I'm rubbing the bristles into my face, it tends to turn my face very sensitive as I shave and I kind of break out here and there. So that's why I usually do a bowl lather. But as you can tell, the Parker does great lathering. The whole brush is lathered up. Even after we pulled it out, it still does contain a little bit of soap, probably enough to wet down and get more soap out of it. So this brush has no problems at all getting a great lather from any soap. I mean just look at the Synergy soap. I don't think I've ever met a soap that's lathered as well as the Synergy soaps. But um, that's my review of the Parker shaving brush. Um, it's on Amazon for $38. Um, remember, remember not the black one. It has the white one, 
for $39 and hopefully they'll get the black one back soon because I really do enjoy this brush and I think it's worth giving it a shot it's good for beginners it's good for um, experts it's pretty much good for everyone I really enjoy it and I recommend it for anyone but thank you for watching this video remember to hit that like share and subscribe button